Hey there, DW Berman here with another video that's actually about graphics this time. That's amazing, isn't it? It's been a while since I've done one. This is something new, something different. This is uh, how to take a uh, something you've done in Moho and move it over uh, into Adobe Character Animator to use as a puppet. Now I have here a very uh, ugly and quickly done uh, character that I made just for test purposes for this video specifically. Um, but before we get into the details of this, uh, let's take a look at uh, Character Animator. And I'm going to go to the Welcome page, and I'm going to click on New Puppet in Illustrator. And this will actually create a new puppet, a default puppet, and open it up in Illustrator itself. This will give us the opportunity to look and see what is actually required in a puppet. Now, for Character Animator, it's very dependent on layers and layer names. Uh, if you want things to be set up automatically, you can actually go in after the fact and change specific uh, tags so that they move the correct things. But basically, we need a base character. And if we're doing you know, the face animation, we need a head uh, layer or group that has everything in it. And we need a, a group for the right eyebrow, um, for the right eye which case we have a pupil and a blink and right eyeball. And you notice these are all layers. Um, if I, I guess there's not really much to see on there. Uh, so uh, compound path, you know, it's just basic. We just basically need this layer structure. When we get down to the mouth, we have a whole bunch of different eye sh uh, mouth shapes. Um, some of them are made up of multiple things in this case. Really, we just need them in the correct hierarchy and with a correct label in order for them to all connect automatically. Um, what I'm about to show you is not set up this way, simply for illustration purposes. So you can see what happens when things are not fully set up. So um, let's move over to Moho. Again, uh, some of these things you have to worry about, some of them you don't. Okay, back in Moho, we have our character. I have the character in a folder or group. And I have a head group like you we see in the uh, the Illustrator file. Let me see if I can actually bring this in a way that I can see both at the same time. That's Character Animator. I need Moho and Illustrator. Okay, so over here we have our uh, Illustrator layers. And over here, down here, we have our layers in Moho. So I have a, a head folder, and you can see I have a uh, vector layer that's right eyebrow, and I have it named the same way. So we have right eyebrow and right eyebrow. But these are just individual vector layers. Um, I will say that uh, the key thing to making this work is a new feature in Moho 12. If I come up to File, I can actually export as an SVG. Now, Character Animator does not load an SVG, so I'll just do testguy.svg. It's already there. I don't care. I'll replace it. Character Animator only does Photoshop layered files, uh, flattened layers of, uh, uh, of other artwork like PNGs, or uh, layers in Illustrator. And we want to uh, use the layer feature, so uh, we can't use the SVG directly in um, Character Animator, but we can load that into Illustrator. And if I go to Open Test Guy SVG, that was the first one, the most recent date, time. You notice here we are in Illustrator, and I have layers, sort of starts at frame zero, which I don't care about. I could actually rearrange this maybe and have the character be the main one, but here we have character and we have head, and you might think we're good to go, uh, but we're not. So if I open up the head layer, you'll notice I have a path, another path, another path, another path. I could possibly... Nope, these aren't going to show up in Character Animator. Like, even if I name this uh, left eyebrow and I forgot to capitalize that L, when I actually uh, import this into uh, Illustrator, well, let me export it as a, uh, or save as, uh, test guy, illustrator, I'll overwrite that. When I actually bring this into um, character animator, you'll see it has some problems. 
mainly um, I don't have uh, that left eyebrow did show up so I guess if you name it in Illustrator it'll show up uh, but if you don't it might just show up as no nope, it just doesn't have a name so and there's only there's a mouth I have a left eye that's like both the the eyeball and the pupil so it doesn't have all the layers um, and if a layer is turned off you notice that I don't have a blink state over here if I go back to my moho object you can see if I come down into the right eye I do have a uh, a right blink but it's turned off any artwork that is exported while the if you next if you export a an SVG and it does not have a layer turned on that layer will not show up in the SVG um, anyway you notice I have a lot of things that are missing uh, over here like I have left eye right eye but I don't have the sub layers and I don't have the other sub layers of the mouth and uh, some other things are missing so uh, in order to get things to show up what you have to do I guess is either uh, come into Illustrator I mean, yeah, Illustrator and like actually rename these things. I don't even know if this is a right left. So I'll say, well, we'll try this. I didn't know this worked, so this might actually function in some semblance of thing, but it, not entirely. We could reconstruct it over here, but there is, I think, a slightly better way, although it is annoying as well. I mean, nose, and these are all part of the nose, so can I... Oh well, we'll ignore that for now. Save. Let me check this in Illustrator and see if things popped up over here. If you just click on uh, your artwork or on your... Yeah, if you click on the, the puppet over here in the puppet panel, you can see uh, where the file is. If it cannot find the file, this will show up as yellow. And we will want to change the origin at some point, but... Anyway, I don't want to show how to set a character up in Illustrator, or in in this. Anyway, long story short, in order to get your layers to show up in Illustrator after doing SVG, what you want to do is uh, come in here in uh, Moho, right click on your layer, and rename it. You want to put each vector layer in its own folder in its own group. That way we know it will show up. And you could probably right click. Somebody could write a script that does this. That would be fantastic. I'm not a scripter, so. Copy, close, paste, group of selection, paste, mouth. Oh, we'll do it with an eye. You see I have multiple layers in the mouth, but they're not turned on. I'll just do... I only have a few mouth shapes because this is just a test. Group of selection. Oh. Group of selection. And I intentionally mislabeled some of these. Um, and I'm not going to do these all. If I come back over to Illustrator and to the other one, the, the default puppet, if I open up the uh, eye, you can see I have right eye blink, left right pupil, right eyeball. This little plus here means it animates independently of the group it's in. So if we want something to slide around on top of the artwork, you need to put the plus next to it or uh, set that setting in uh, character animator itself, which is this little uh, crown here that makes it in animate independently. Um, sorry, I'm bouncing around a little bit. Anyway. Uh, group of selection. Did I copy that? Nope. Right blink. And I wanted to bring that into the foreground so I could do this. <sighs> right blink. B exclamation point. The B is the keyboard shortcut you would use to trigger this. The exclamation point turns it into like uh, what in Moho you would call a switch layer. It turns all the other layers off when you use it. Uh, group of selection plus right pupil. And this is all I'm going to do after I do this. 
you notice here I mislabeled it um, it does not match what's over here I'll show you how to take care of that I will show a little bit of rigging and character animator so group of selection we'll just keep this name even though it's the wrong name it should be right eyeball all spelled out in space so save this don't really need to save it but I'm gonna do it anyway uh, export 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 I'm gonna change it under export frame to SVG I'll name it it's underscore two let's replace it now if I bring this into Illustrator open SVG 2 you can see now I have the blink layer and I have the mouth shapes and if I open up my layers you can see I have actually more layers than was originally showing up so I have a mouth layer with multiple shapes in it I have an eye layer with the blink in it I can turn the blink off now um, I do want to point out a few things from the uh, transfer from SVG over to um, Illustrator. Uh, you can see I the gradient I have on the t-shirt actually does transfer over. Let me go down to that layer. Body. You can see I have a gradient on this layer. On these other things here, I have a soft edge effect. The soft edge effect does not transfer over into uh, Illustrator. So if you're using that for shading of some kind, uh, you'll have to figure out a different way to do it. Maybe export it as a PNG uh, or some other thing that carries the, tran the uh, transparency over and just add it to your puppet manually. Uh, if I zoom in here on the nose, you'll notice that um, the nose is actually made up of several shapes because in um, Moho, I uh, actually used the, uh, what's it, the, width, the line width tool to change the width of the points. If uh, you make something in um, with a stroke in Moho, if the stroke is solid, like a, a uniform thickness all the way across, uh, Illustrator or the SVG export will just save it as a single line with a stroke. If you vary the line thickness, it'll actually create separate shapes. And if I actually look at this in, in um, Illustrator, you'll see I do have a little bit of extra uh, a few extra pieces that I don't need. Uh, specifically, if I bring this over here, you can see I have this line here that kind of just kind of tries to mask that seam. Um, on more complex artwork, you might see more of that stuff. You might want to clean it up. I imagine it could slow things down. You may also have uh, something like over the top here. It, I don't have it in this instance. You might have something over the top here where you actually do see a bit of a, a stroke peeking through when you actually get to the final render. Uh, you may need to go in and clean those up too. So again, not everything transfers over and some cleanup might be required. But it does work. The process does work. Uh, let's go to Illustrator and save this uh, as SVG guy 2 or test guy 2 and okay now if I go to character animator and I import this puppet you'll see I have another puppet this origin is uh, kind of the the anchor point wherever things rotate around you want to select the head layer and you want to put the uh, the anchor point for the head like right around the mouth level so it looks like it's rotating around the base of the neck and not the middle of his head um, you see I have a right eyebrow and a left eyebrow and they are set to ind move independently I have a right eye if I look down here on my face you can see it's not actually triggering uh, it's not actually selected as a right eye in fact uh, it's select it's uh, seeing this first R here and assigning it the mouth shape R and we don't want that to be a mouth shape so to do it, set things up manually, I'll just uh, select right eye, and I'll click over here. Ah, I'm clicking all over the wrong places. There you go, right eye. Now I can go to left eye and do the same thing. The left eye haven't completely named everything properly. Right pupil, again, not named properly, so it didn't automatically set up. 
but I can click on it manually. I have a blink. The blink did not get set up properly. It doesn't really matter because I can just click on that. Um, and if I click on this over here, you can see we can get the text things if you don't want to click on the pictures. In this case, uh, I want to hide others in group and you can see it set the B. So that is actually setting up the blink properly. Um, nose is correct. Mouth is correct. I don't know if these are all correct. So neutral is right. O and E. I did get those right. Okay. So that's the, the basic of, of, of getting a character from Moho over into Illustrator. You just have to do a little extra work to put your vector artwork into separate layers or separate groups in um, Moho be, or they won't show up. You have to make sure your layers are turned on in Moho or they will not show up. Uh, here is a, a character uh, for some other project that I was working on. You can see I have all of the layers turned on and all of the layers in a separate folder. So it's a bit of a pain. Again, if somebody could write a script that would uh, automate that, that would be fantastic. Um, so that is basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned something. I hope this is useful. Uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video and all of that stuff you have to do on YouTube videos. Um, and uh, thanks. Have a great day.